I thought that we would have that fairy tale. I thought that we would get married, we would have kids. When we first got the test results back, it said no sperm. You always picture yourself being able to have children with the person that you that you love. I couldn't give her the one thing that that she wanted it in life. That was Jennifer and Brian, who, like millions of Americans, have been struggling with infertility. Luckily, modern medicine has now developed some cutting-edge treatments for couples just like them. Infertility, as you have, is very common. It's about 15% of reproductive age couples think about as common as diabetes. What were you told by your other providers? I asked him point blank, what would you do if you were in this situation? And he said he would adopt. Although there's no sperm in the ejaculate, there can be sperm in the testicles. There have been two ways developed to figure out if you have sperm in your testicles. One way is called fine needle aspiration mapping. And the goal of the procedure is to find pockets of sperm in the testicle with a fine needle technique. Another possibility is to to have a procedure called a testicular microdissection. It involves, under anesthesia, widely opening the testicle like a clam, and then with a microscope, searching through 700 feet of tubules to find sperm. So although this seems like a devastating diagnosis to you, it's very common in this practice, and I have to say there is hope that you'll have a child. We have Dr. Turek, Brian, and uh, Jennifer here with us today. Thank you so much for being here to share this story. It's, it's so important to highlight that in fertility issues, 30% of the time is a male factor. And so semen analysis is truly important in, in a workup. So when you did the microdissection, you got like a few sperm or a lot of sperm or? Initially, it was, it was a couple of sperm. Okay. Um, and, you know, again, we weren't, we weren't sure what we, we would find. Sure. We were getting ready for my egg retrieval. Brian was sitting there by my side and we were getting ready to uh, roll me in to have my procedure done. Mm -hmm. And the doctor came back and ripped open the, the curtains and said, we found sperm. Ta-da, we found sperm. We found <laughs> sperm. And there was Great. just enough, there was just enough to fertilize the number of eggs that I had. Um, I am happy to say at this point, I am 10 weeks pregnant with twins. <laughs> That is truly a miracle story. It is a miracle story. Yeah. And what's, what's really shocking is the options now available for men because this is really cutting edge stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is a fast moving and an exciting field. I want you to walk us through this demo yeah, that you, you have over here. So, this is the technique. It's done uh, under local anesthesia in the office, and you, this is, represents a testicle. <laughs> so, with a fine, very fine needle approach. We would insert an, a small, fine needle into the testicle and get a very small sample of tissue like this. And that sample in the needle would then be placed on a slide. After that, here's the sample, and that's how large it is. On the slide, it would be smeared. And then this sample would be examined for sperm. Now, let me show you what the map is, where I number each of these sites. So I would number each of these sites and I'd look at each of them for sperm. Uh, some sites may have sperm and some sites may not have sperm. For instance, in site seven there may be sperm, but in other sites there may not. And in men like Brian, there are pockets of sperm, and this is the way you can find these pockets. And then you can direct sperm retrieval after that. Another thing is what kind of sperm actually comes from this technique? What, what do you get? So uh, if you look at the kind of sperm, released sperm that's created naturally has a lot of purposeful motion, and it's what you normally would see and is very driven and knows what to do. <laughs> but the sperm we're getting from sperm retrieval from this technique is on the left panel, and it's very immature, baby-like sperm that twitches. And because it twitches and is immature, it needs a lot of help with technology to get couples like this pregnant. We always joke that the release sperm look like Michael Phelps <laughs> in a swimming pool. Exactly. In their direction. Has somewhere to go. Right. So, yeah. so it's nothing like that. This is offering hope to certain men who otherwise would not have been able to procreate children. What men in particular can this benefit from this? This is revolutionary. This is completely different than, than what's been done before, and it's much less invasive. And it's great for men like Brian who have genetic syndromes. It's great for any infertile man who has no sperm count who is told that adoption is the only option for them. So there's a whole world of men, and this is a quiet, a quiet population of people who suffer in silence. And it's also good for cancer patients who were too young or too sick to be able to bank sperm before their cancer treatment hit, and I can offer them opportunities for fatherhood they've never had before. 
So it no longer has to stop at, you go give a sample, they don't find sperm. There are other steps, there are other opportunities, and I think you two are a testament to that. You find the sperm where, you know, nobody's found it before. Mm -hmm. And then in vitro fertilization happens. Then they put the sperm with the egg together, that multiplies and forms, you know, cellular multiplication forms an embryo, which is then in implanted into you. And that's how it all takes place. And you had a couple of them that took. And mm -hmm. so that's why you have twins. That's right. <laughs> and that's why twins happens with in vitro fertilization. So it is a high tech procedure yes, that demands there's a lot. large teamwork, a lot of expertise, mm -hmm. perseverance in this situation because we got sperm, but was it enough? Right. And she took the chance of going for egg retrieval. We got enough. Because it and still has off. to do its job. Right. right. Are, you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for two kids? <laughs> ready for two kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you.